Passion Campers. It's Jamie. Are you ready to do some yoga? Yes. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear you say yes. Let's start like we did last time with a, a seat on the ground, the easy seat. There's, this is Mowgli. He's my puppy. So sitting down on the ground, making yourself grow long and tall like a tree. Hands here at your knees or maybe at your heart today. We call it our heart center sometimes in, in yoga, but right here close to your heart. Put one hand on top of another. And when we do our breathing today, remember how we did the breathing where we inhale, when we inhale, we blow our bellies up like a balloon and then exhale, let all the air out. So you can do that by breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth or in and out through your mouth or in and out through your nose. You get to choose. So let's settle in. You can close your eyes or keep them open. Today's focus was um, about bravery. So sometimes when we use words in yoga, when we're doing breathing, it's called a mantra. So our mantra today is I am, as we inhale, brave as we exhale. Ready? I am brave. I am brave. One more time. Inhale. I am brave. Excellent job. We're going to start our poses, our other poses, from standing. So let's stand. You can have your mat or on the grass, wherever you are. We're going to come to standing, and we did this pose last time. This is called mountain pose or tadasana. So it's a nice, strong, sturdy pose, um, a good foundational pose. So your feet are, oh, just a couple inches apart from each other. Your toes are pointing forward. You feel nice and tall and strong like a like a tree or like a mountain because that's what we're doing is mountain pose. Your arms go out a little bit from your body and your hands face forward. And think to yourself as you breathe in, I am, exhale, brave. I'm also strong. I have courage. I'm unshakable. I'm unmovable like the mountains, the strength of the mountains. Mountain pose or Tadasana. From here, let's inhale and bring our arms way up, stretch up, stretch up, stretch up, and then we're going to bow forward. We're going to hang forward. Sometimes it's nice just to hang there for a minute, just maybe maybe doing some finger painting on the, on the ground there if you can reach the ground. Just letting yourself, let your body wake up sometimes. So hang there for a second. And then inhale and take your fingers to your shins, to the middle of the fronts of your legs or to your knees or to your thighs. And, and you're gonna like lengthen out. So we fold, then bring your fingertips up to your legs somewhere. Make your, make your back nice and long. Inhale and exhale. Fold again. Okay. So from there, let's just do that together. Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale up, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen out your spine. Exhale, fold again, and then let your fingers come down to the, to the ground. So you may have to bend your knees and maybe not, but you're going to walk forward. And we did this pose last time too. This is a plank. So you're making yourself nice and strong 
from the crown of your head all the way to the tippy top of your head down through your heels. Then from here, I'm going to turn sideways and show this. We're going to go straight to our um, upward facing dog. Remember that was called that funny name Urdva Mukha Svanasana. It's just kind of fun to say. And thankfully it's on your piece of paper on your worksheet so you can look at, at uh, the spelling there and maybe practice that yourself and impress all of your friends. So we're going to do plank and then we're going to go right to that upward facing dog. So here's our, here's our plank, nice and long, okay? And then, see my feet? I'm gonna go to the tops of my feet and then just start reaching toward the sun. Keep your knees up off the mat. Open your heart toward the sun. I'm ready to face the day. Then we're gonna go back, flipping your feet again, Back to downward facing dog, Auto Mukha Svanasana. That little TP pose. Then we're going to do something kind of fun here, and I've stayed sideways to show you, but I can also, I'll do it forwards too. You're going to lift your right leg up in the air, and you're going to bend your knee and bring your foot up by where your hands are. Okay? Then you're going to bring your back foot, so that's your left foot, up a little bit so that your heel can be on the ground. We're, we're doing a warrior pose here, warrior one, where we feel focus, power, and stability. So ready? We're going to rise up. Sometimes it takes a little bit of balance here. And our arms are up and we're facing forward. This is called a warrior one, virapadrasana. Now I'm going to come forward and show you what that looks like. So I'll go downward facing dog, lift my right leg high, that's called a three-legged dog, bend my knee to bring my foot forward, bring my back foot up a little bit so that I can put my whole foot down on the ground, then I'm rising up like a warrior. Come back up a little bit so you can see what that looks like. Warrior one. And then from our warrior one, we're going to go back to our downward facing dog. So we just bring our hands back down to the mat, step our feet back to be a downward dog. And then we'll lift up our left legs. Bend that knee of yours, bring your foot forward. Bring your back foot up a little bit so that it can touch the ground. Your knee is bent there and your arms are up. Powerful, strong, courageous. You're a warrior. Beautiful, beautiful. Hands come down. Touch your mat. Take your feet back again. Downward facing dog. Breathe there, so inhale. And then exhale. And then remember when we tippy-toed up to the top of the mat, you can either tippy-toe up to where your hands are, or you can take a big step, one step, then another, or you can jump. That's kind of fun too. So forward fold when you jumped up to the top of your mat, lengthen out your spine, fold again, and then you're going to rise all the way up to where your mountain pose was. Palms forward, strong, sturdy, courageous. I am brave. Inhale up again. Bring your palms together at your heart. Remember, and we talked about namaste being that greeting that we give to people. We can give it at any time. When we meet somebody, just like you say hello, or you shake their hands, or you give them a hug, we can say to them namaste, which remember means all the good and all the light inside of me sees and honors all the good 
and all the light in you. All the light in me and all the good in me sees all the light and all the good in you. Palms together. Put your thumbs right in the middle of your chest, close to your heart. And then we bow to one another because we are God's beautiful creation. And we say, Namaste. Thank you, thank you for practicing with me today. Enjoy the rest of camp. <laughs>